Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to quickly factorise a cubic function. We have our function here, fx equals 30x cubed minus 41x squared minus 8x plus 3 and we have to factorise fx completely. We're going to use equation function mode to help us out with this one. So it's menu and then you can press A or navigate down to equation function and then you need to select 2 for polynomial and then the degree of the polynomial well we've got a cubic here so it's going to be degree of 3 and we have the options here to input the coefficients of the different terms in the cubic function so we need to input 30 x cubed if you just press equals it will automatically scroll on to the next coefficient so it's minus 41 x squared minus 8x and finally plus 3 and then equals again just to confirm now what the class whiz provides for us is the solutions to the function that we have here and it being a cubic potentially we have up to three solutions and we do in this case so I'm just going to note them down x1 is 3 over 2 x2 is 1 fifth and x3 is minus a third negative a third now if these are our three solutions to the cubic function that we have what we can do is rearrange what we have here so that we have everything on say the left hand side and equals zero on the right hand side then what we will have is our factors of this particular cubic function so for example we've got x equals 3 over 2 I can multiply both sides by 2 that gives me 2x equals 3 I can then subtract 3 from both sides which gives me 2x minus 3 equals 0 well if we've got equal 0 here we know that 2x minus 3 is going to be a factor of the function that we've been given in the question in a similar way we can do 5 times both sides with x2 5x equals 1 5x minus 1 equals 0 5x minus 1 is a factor and lastly multiply both sides by 3 3x equals negative 1 add 1 to both sides 3x plus 1 equals 0 and we've got 3x plus 1 as our factor so the final factorization is 2x minus 3 5x minus 1 and 3x plus 1 and we've completely factorized our function of x so there we go relatively simple to get from the solutions in the equation mode of the class with to a factorized form of our function but that's it for this video thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time on the calculator guide